is the axis of a pentagonal pyramid is a perpendicular to HP and uh, one of the base edge is a parallel to BP so we have to draw a pentagon in which the included angle of a pentagon base sides is of a 108 degree so by using the minute after and by using the compass construct pentagon be careful that while observing this pentagon from any side it should be appear same and equal because it assures that your pentagon is a correct now locate the center point label the base corners do the dimension dimension line should be parallel to the base edge put the dimensions above dimension line so draw the front view the axis length is a mark now to draw the projections or to draw the front view project all the base points from top view to front view label the base points with single dash and join all these base points with a vertex the lines which we join and join with a vertex are called as slant edges so draw the slant edges draw this front view with a very faint line because this front view is not our final at this moment now to locate the section plane as the section plane is a 10 millimeter away from the axis so draw the circle with the center v of a radius 10 millimeter now by using the made after draw section plane which is a tangent to this circle now locate the cutting points where the section plane cuts the base edge slant edge mark the point where the cutting plane cuts the base edge as a point 1 and point 2 and where it cuts the slant edges give the name to the cutting point with respect to the slant edge now shift all these points in front view on respect to slant edges now to locate the point C which lies on a slant edge VC so shift this point on a true lane so for this in top view through V draw a parallel line to the XY now make VC parallel to the XY in top view so take the distance VC in compass and draw an R so that new position that is a VC1 will get now shift C1 in front view and draw this two lane which will help us to locate the point C in front view so now take the distance of a point C from vertex shift this point in front view along the two link that is a B dash C1 dash now transfer this point on a V dash C dash 
Now consider the point 2 which lies on a base edge CD. So this point should be shifted in front view. So the four points are available. Point 1, point B, point C and point 2. Those draw the outline by joining all these four points to show the sectional front view So the outline for the sectional front is ready. Now to draw the hatching line, set the minute after at a 45 degree angle. See the proper setting uh, of a protractor on minute after. draw the hatching line this hatching line should be parallel to each other and they are spaced at an equal distance the distance between the hatching line should be approximately 2 to 3 millimeter draw it neatly and accurately now finalize the front view which is visible, slant is visible, it should be represented by dark mode. The slant edge BV is partially visible. The slant edge B is not visible in front view, so it should be represented by dotted line. Slant edge BA is a partially visible. Uh, sorry, partially uh, hidden, so it should be represented in partial mode because in hatching line we are not showing any dotted line, so slant edge AV in front view is uh, shown in partial mode, give the dimension of uh, axis is the height of and uh, the for this. Now, to, to shape of the section so, we have to draw parallel line to the section and shift all these points which we have located in top view in perpendicular direction Now to locate these points for the two shape. We the sectional front view is not symmetrical. What do you mean by So point 1 and 2 will lie on a x1 y1. Now to locate the point B and point C, take the corresponding distance in front view and transfer these points in to shape of the section. So these four points we have marked. Now to this the straight lines to indicate how Drawing these points by straight line. Now the position lines at the 45 degree. Again we have to draw the hatching lines. To indicate the section of the two shapes, set the mid of the photo and draw the equispace and parallel lines. Draw this section hatching line very accurately because it affects your drawing work. Now finalize the top view. Draw the slant edges which are available after taking the 
section. So the bottom portion is removed and only the remaining portion is observed. So it should be completely dark.